Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to Star Sand. If you've seen my recent video, we uh, went and found the new recipes. Let me bring those up real fast. And so in the new uh, recipe scrolls for the landmine. And oh, I need the hammer. Let me get the hammer real fast. And the wooden scroll. Or not wooden scroll, but the uh, recipe for the metal spikes. So, the one thing I wanted to do was kind of test out the landmines today. And see how they fare against our lovely alien bug friends. So, what do we got cooking up in here? Got some clay cooking. Excellent, excellent. I wanted to get... An opportunity before I leave for vacation to um, put out these videos so if you haven't already yet used the landmines you can at least see a little bit um, here on how they're gonna be so we're gonna put them up right over here in this area where uh, the bugs kind of funnel in as long as I'm on this side of the base they tend to spawn over on this way on come from that side and if you haven't seen it yet, we do have the new cedar gun, as it is called. And I will show you what the cedar gun looks like here. Give me a second. Hey, Mr. Deer. And that's what the cedar gun does. Pretty cool. Not gonna lie. I'm really uh, uh, having this uh, cedar gun kind of boosts your um, confidence level. And when playing the game, you feel like don't need your armor as much but i will say with the new aliens that are in the game um they're like little miniature like spider things like jumping spiders and uh they like to crawl out of the sand randomly crawl out of the sand and they'll jump at you and explode with some type of poisonous gas empty coconuts metal ingots and gunpowder so we'll empty out our pockets well, good thing that I saved up a bunch of coconuts. Unfortunately, we're going to have to drink them all. But what I am going to have to do is I'm going to have to go outside here, drop the coconuts on the ground, and start harvesting the coconuts. But how's everyone doing today? I hope everyone's doing great. Um, I will be leaving in uh, about two days for vacation. I'm going to be going taking the family and going down to florida uh probably visit some of the beaches and uh theme parks and stuff like that it should be a great time i really wanted to kind of get at least a couple of videos recorded so they're releasing during the time i'm gone so you guys still have some content to watch I hope that everyone has been able to uh, complete their Scarab Beetle collection. Uh, I know I've shown where you can find some of these beetles in a previous video. So I'm hoping that everyone is able to use that information and uh, complete your, your beetle collection. One of the other things that I really wanted to do is I wanted to start making planters and uh, kind of slowly decorating our little market village area that we have going on here. Um, since we're able to start growing the canapa plants, the hemp plants, I feel like that's kind of like a good little decorative stuff that we can be putting around. Um, I'm hoping that more or sooner than later that uh, we'll be able to make uh, an update with some uh, placeable objects that we can be putting on tables. Kind of like something more decorative in the hopes that, um, that we can kind of, you know, do a little bit more of, uh, well, I guess just decorating uh, so like when I go into like a marketplace here 
maybe we can get some vases or something or other or if we go over to the restaurant we can get bottles and plates and and spoons and forks you know something along those type of lines with like some bowls and stuff well i think we got some bowls but um if we craft the bowls and we place them on the table i don't know if they're gonna despawn over a period of time or if they're gonna stay there so that's one thing that we could test out in another video but for this video here let me find a place to put these oh wow if you haven't seen it yet these are our red and blue mushrooms so far uh, the only thing that i've seen that you can do with these is make like some type of uh concoction like a stew let's see we'll just put these in here for uh, no we'll put it over here put these in here for now and uh let's craft up some landmines okay so when crafting your landmines make sure that you have your gunpowder your metal ingots and your empty coconuts i think we only have what nine empty coconuts we'll get one more just because there make it an even 10. select landmines like we're only gonna get four off of this one but to make your gunpowder if you don't know already to make your gunpowder you're gonna need some of that sweet charcoal that we just keep on acquiring um looks like the landmines don't stack so we want to make sure that we're placing making room for them all right so we have four landmines ready to go at this very moment throw this down real fast and i'm hoping that we're not going to get a sandstorm but the weather has kind of changed for the worst so far so good we haven't had an alien attack yet but we're going to be able to place these down now i don't know how big the explosion is going to be but we're going to try to stagger these in hopes that um we can catch some of these bugs coming in here and hopefully they don't blow each other up like when they hit off one landmine hopefully they don't blow up another landmine like in sequential order or something like that we're gonna place them a little bit farther away from each other like so Now I know like one of the things that happens when um, I'm at my uh, village here is during the nighttime I feel like I have so much flamage going on in my village and all my buildings and stuff like that when everything turns on it starts really dropping my frames um, I haven't formally tested tested that yet so one of the things i'm going to probably have to do in another video or probably just do it offline is just test to see if that's exactly what's going on if it's just all the fire that i have that the game's not being able to uh keep up with it all see we got empty let's drink some more my guy is gonna be highly hydrated to the point where he i probably need to craft like a uh, outhouse for him he's gonna be so hydrated um we got some charcoal over here because we do have some furnaces up in this building here and i think i was making clay bricks in these also so we'll snag this charcoal here go and then we can go and make some there we go now we got the all the yep as soon as the flames kicked on i started dropping or yeah as soon as the flames kicked on i started dropping frames so i'm thinking that's probably what it is more than likely and then on top of that like if we get a sandstorm that just makes it a hundred times worse i get like two frames so we're gonna kind of hang in here in hopes that we don't get uh, a bug attack while we're inside because i really want to be outside when i get to when uh the bugs come 
or the aliens i should say all right we got all our gunpowder crafted for right now we'll get some more landmines we're only going to be able to get three more which should be fine as long as they're placed in proper uh spots uh where the bugs are going to come i think we're going to be all right but until then let's save and sleep and we'll get some daylight all right it is morning drink some more of these coconuts while we're at it we still got some uh kind of cloudy weather and some wind kicking off over here but so far so good the uh, one thing that i was actually also thinking about is can we set off our own landmines if that may happen we should happen to walk on not going to test it in this video today but that could be something we uh discover later on so we come come for right there over this put one right up i don't want to get them too close well, i guess that'll be a good yeah we'll we'll figure it out put it over here and we'll yeah we'll put it right here hopefully it doesn't set off the other mines now all we got to do is wait around for our lovely alien friends to make their way so much there we'll kind of load up on here dude 216 days survived awesome you break dancing bro break dancing yeah 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 break dance uh-huh uh-huh <laughs> uh as far as the camel glitch with the camels uh leaving the pin and appearing on the outside i haven't seen that for a couple days i i played a little bit uh the other day and uh kind of farming some materials and stuff like that and i haven't seen them start spawning or appearing outside of the fence line so i'm hoping that was a little bit of update that got fixed would be fantastic the one area let's see the one area that i really wanted to make planters was to surround a restaurant here I wanted to really surround this area to kind of make it a little bit more um aesthetic for our restaurant goers and you stay inside that pen there sebastian for those of you that have not seen it yet this is our scare beetle museum where we can observe our beetles in some form of natural habitat we do have the elusive beetle here that took me forever to find but we have them scattered throughout here and probably in the next video uh one of the things that i really wanted to do was grab some markers and go up to oh there's the sandstorm Where I'm literally getting two FPS. Oh, and on top of that, we got freaking bug. No, that is just the worst. That is the worst. Come on, Sandstorm, go away. Hopefully the bugs don't come during the time that we have the Sandstorm. I know it's kind of loud. I've been messing with my volume levels a lot lately. Really trying to get that noise gate tuned in properly because I noticed in some of my videos it's cutting off a lot of the... Uh, I don't want to say dialogue, but it's cutting off a lot of me talking. So I really wanted to... Um really get that noise gate proper we don't have any more so you know just the audio all right here we go how we go ow that hurt dumb for doing that can i get up here can we, can we get it all right that's gonna be our first one
Where they at? There they are. Here, here the danger music. Danger music creeping up in my ears. Oh. Did they avoid it? I feel like they're starting to avoid all my traps. Oh, come on, man. Are you kidding me? They came in. Ah, oh, you know, oh, um, God, I hate you. Well, let's re reset all the traps and then um, I'll make some more landmines and I guess wait around for the next bug attack to happen. <laughs> Hopefully we cover more of an area to get these guys to uh, come in where they where we want them to come in. But uh, we'll just uh, time lapse all that so you guys don't have to wait around and hours on in because I don't really feel like having uh, an hour long video. We'll just get everything moving in that direction. Okay, after another sandstorm and a couple of nights, we are back and we have some more landmines to place down. So from what it looks like, it looks like they came down this way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place some in this general vicinity where they came down. in hopes that we can uh, finally get some use out of these uh, landmines. I feel like eventually we're just gonna have a whole desert full <laughs> of landmines surrounding our area here. Now one of the things that we have done while we're waiting is we started planting more of our hemp plants here and they look like they're coming along just fine. Still got some crappy weather. I'm hoping that we don't have any more sandstorms coming in our way. But if you can see, if you sit down, it kind of gives a little bit more of a little aesthetic greenness to this endless sand dunes of desert. All right, not too shabby. Okay, we are finally getting a bug raid after waiting for so long i think i waited like four maybe five in day in game days i've been trying to keep myself busy with activities while we waited for this next bug alien, whatever attack to get here i'll jump up on top of the castle and i'll kind of show you what i've been doing while we have been waiting for um these aliens to come about so we're going to take a peek. We got 15 landmines spread across our little desert area here. And then over here, I started to make more farm plots skirting around that are going to be coming over there. And then I'll start some that come this way. But wondering, should I just stay here and allow these bugs to approach us here? Or should I go down there? I think we're going to try to just hang up here for right now. And uh, try to get a better uh, view of uh, any explosions, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed they don't avoid our traps again. Get up on the trap. Oh, are they going to hit it? Are they going to hit it? Am I hitting it? Oh! oh! We got one more. Come on. Come on. Hit that one. No? Here, follow me. I almost hit more than myself. Yeah! <laughs> Get wrecked, son! 
<laughs> oh, that was very, very nice. Let's take some trophies here. So it doesn't look like the explosions are big enough to the point where it's going to blow up the other landmines in the area. Which are, uh, means that we can um, spread the mines a little bit better or a little bit closer to cover um, a little bit more, uh, not distance, more area. Hilarious. I love it. I'm glad they put landmines in the game. I'm loving every second of it but uh let me get this one oh we only got one trophy hit that yeah so we'll go over here and we'll show you the land plots that i've been uh, constructing waiting on that next alien raid so what i wanted to do is kind of do like a path that comes down this way then turns into the restaurant now, if I'm actually going to lay foundation onto the ground, I don't think that I will, but I'll just leave, like, I think I'm going to do, like, palm tree. Just to kind of go around. And then uh, over here, we got the, the hemp plants that come around the restaurant. And then I might stick some more hemp plants in here. Until then... I hope you have a good morning, good evening, or a good night, depending on when you're watching this video and where you're from. And I hope you have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.